Hello, YouTube friends. No, no, this is a clean area. You are not welcome when we're cooking. Now don't tell me off for being harsh with her because we're cooking. She can't walk all over the table when there's food on the go. <laughs> I've been wanting to make these biscuits. I've seen them everywhere and I've been wanting to make them for the longest time. So I've just made the biscuit dough, which is really the simplest dough. It's sugar, butter and flour. That's all. I put some lemon rind in there just in case anybody actually eats these and um, <laughs> decides that, um, you know, it'd be nice if it tasted a bit of a bit of lemon. Okay, so I've got these boiled sweets. I tried to find just ordinary, straightforward boiled sweets, but in my little local shop, uh, there were not. So I've got these, which I've got two packets, there's one here, which are Fox's Glacier Fruits, and they're just boiled sweets. I can't see what colour they are though. Um, so I'm going to open a few. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find all the red ones. You can kind of see, but the paper they're wrapped in is opaque. So you see that's, mm, yeah, so that'll do for red. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes doing this then. Because what I want to make today is window biscuits. Stained glass window biscuits. I found a recipe, I'll leave the link in the description below, by Mary Berry, that national treasure. Somebody, some, a survey was done once and, and a, a significant number of people thought that Mary Berry was actually royalty. She kind of is really, she's cooking royalty anyway. And if anybody's ever, um, if you're not in the UK and you've seen the Great British Bake Off, when it was the original series over on the BBC, then Mary Berry was the judge there. She's very sweet, she's very old, and she's a fantastic, gentle, sweet lady who cooks. Okay, I want to see any more. What could, I think that one's not dark red. So I'm going to go very Christmassy with these. I don't even know if they're gonna work but we're going to give them a try. So I'm getting all the dark red ones. I'm doing okay so far. And as I say, I've got another packet here and that's the sort of different color red. It's more orangey, but it'll be fine. Now you maybe have made these or at least seen them. It's kind of like a reverse Hercules candy video, this one because they make hard candy, which is what this is, by melting sugar. Oh, that's a green one. Put the green one over there. By melting sugar uh, together with a few other things uh, till it gets very, very hot and then making it into different forms on their fantastic candy table. Well, what I'm doing is taking these that have been made like that and I'm gonna bash them up. This is gonna be the fun part. I'm going to bash them up with a rolling pin. This is actually quite fun. Trying to find all the right, oh, all the right colours. So that's a yellow one. Okay, we'll just, I'm just going to keep undoing these then and finding what we've got here. So I'll get back to you when I've done that. That's exciting. You never know what you're going to get next. Now, I'm going to render these down into dust now. That's the plan anyway. Into a little bag, rolling pin. Let's see how hard they are. Very hard. That's what I didn't want to do is break the bag that they're in. I've just done that. Put them more in the middle now. I'm 
actually damaging my rolling pin. Plan B. This is a handy thing. We call it the fire tool because that's what it is. Uh, that's better. So I've made dints in my rolling pin for no reason. Should have used the trusty fire tool right from the start. Okay, that's the red ones. <laughs> this is loads of fun. So they can go in the bowl. So this dough then has rested in the oven. No, let's try that again, shall we? Well, we'll put them in the oven and see what happens. I'm not holding out much hope for them because I've never done them before. So I've never made these. Let's put them in the oven and see what happens. later that same day. They're made now. I made four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, all in all. And let's have a look. There we go. Uh, well, I'm going to shine a light behind them. That's what I'm going to do. There. <laughs> so they're see-through, aren't they? Kind of. Now, Mary Berry put icing round hers. I made the holes a little better. And she's got white icing around the outsides. Shall we do that? take five minutes and it would look nice wouldn't it okay I've talked myself into that now <laughs> well 
In the interest of research, I decided I needed to try one. The biscuit is delicious, but my teeth are objecting to the sweet. It tastes very cracky though. I quite like that. I mean, can something taste cracky? No, it is very cracky. <laughs> what I mean. It's not something you want more than one of a year. I think that's what I'd conclude there. But the biscuit's delicious. Mm. So I'm going to store these now in an airtight way. And I'm going to put ribbons on them and hang them on the Christmas tree. Because that's why I made them. I'll also give some away. So if you decide you're going to make them, See if you've got um, really, really colourful boiled sweets, because um, I suppose what I'd say is they're a little bit insipid. Let's find a, I mean, even the red one, look. Oh, it's, that's okay, I guess. They didn't melt very well. So out of 10, how many are we gonna give this, I wonder? Five. Five, see you next time. And I've got loads left because I, I did the whole packet, didn't I? Anna editing videos <laughs> and laughing a lot. This one's a really good one. <laughs> Excellent. So this is the behind the scenes. <laughs> and which one are you editing? Uh, the window biscuits. Ah, the window biscuits. It's really funny. We've left quite a lot of silly bits in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that it. you can have a laugh at me as well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Anna. No worries. Well, do you know something? Shall I tell you what happens? I'm doing something like this or this or whatever. When I'm doing something that I'm not talking, mm. I can just hear the sugar from a fairy in my head. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> 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 it's probably moving like a little bit of a sound. <laughs> 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 <laughs>